Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're gonna talk about finding inspiration to write. We've all been there. We have a pile of replies to do, or we have an activity check in an RPG that we're in, or we have a message from a friend asking if we're going to reply soon, or a thousand other things that let us know we need to sit down and role play, but we can't. On some level, we want to write, but we've lost our inspiration. So let's talk about how to get it back. Some people might call it losing inspiration, or some people might call it losing muse. I'm going to talk a little bit more later about the losing muse concept, but for now, I'm talking about both. So the first way is using other mediums to inspire your writing. So I've got a little list that I keep for myself of just various things that you can do in other mediums. So try putting together a Pinterest board for one of your plots or characters. Go onto Spotify or whatever your favorite music service is and make a playlist for one of your characters or plots. Or if you're playing a canon character, maybe reviewing some of the canon material would be a good idea. So go read some of their book, watch an episode of their TV show, watch the movie. And along those same lines, if you're using a face claim, maybe go consume some of the media that your face claim is in. Or the last other medium is going and read someone else's writing. Even if it's not related, sometimes just going and reading and seeing someone else's work can inspire your own work and your own plots and your own characters and kind of like get your mind into that space of writing. Another way to get inspiration is to go out into the physical world. To write about life, we need to experience it. So one of the things I mean by this is maybe do a little bit of eavesdropping on some other people's conversations or engage in some good old fashioned people watching. Do you need to write about a particular experience that you've never had and that's what's causing the writer's block? If so, if it's safe, then go out and have that experience or find someone that has and talk to them and get them to explain it to you. Sometimes we lack inspiration due to the wrong level of mental activity. This can be caused by anxiety, depression, or not getting enough sleep. So make sure you're taking care of your body as well. If you have racing thoughts, try a little meditation or maybe light exercise to clear your mind. Make sure you've eaten or have water nearby in case you get thirsty. If you haven't had a good night's sleep, maybe that's why your inspiration is waning and you need to go to bed early tonight. And of course, if something serious is going on or you've had symptoms going on for a long time, see a doctor and find out what it is that's causing that bodily issue or that mental issue. Another thing to do is examine your surroundings. Make sure you have a quiet and comfortable place to write. Then read your partner's reply thoroughly. Often people aren't inspired because they get that reply, they're busy when they get it, so they just kind of skim it and then tuck it away. And it may seem really obvious, but of course if you haven't read your partner's reply thoroughly, you're not going to be inspired to respond to it. Another good way to feel inspired is to make writing a task that you do at a certain time every day. Humans are habit-forming creatures. So if, for example, every morning while I have my coffee, I do a few replies, what's gonna happen is eventually, if I don't do some replies while having my coffee, it's gonna feel really weird. So making that habit is gonna decrease the chances that I go for a long time without feeling inspired. And lastly, if you do all of these things and still aren't feeling it, write anyway. Do a reply or two. Once you put those fingers on the keyboard and start writing, inspiration often will follow. And it's okay if it's bad. So long as your replies are consistent, most people aren't gonna care if every once in a while they get a kind of bad reply from you. It happens to the best of us, and often for me, a bad reply every once in a while is better than waiting months and months for a reply because my partner has lost inspiration. So next, we're going to backtrack just a little bit. I said briefly before about losing muse. So sometimes when people lose inspiration or lose motivation, they'll say, I lost muse or my muse doesn't want to. So I want to take some time to address that statement. When we say these things, we're kind of implying that our muse has control of us. But the other way around is what's true. You control your muse. If you let your muse dictate when you write and when you don't, you're going to struggle to find good partners that stick around and find good plots that last. Let me explain why. 
When you say to someone, I've lost Muse or my Muse doesn't want to, what it sounds like you're saying is, I don't feel like it, but instead of taking the blame for that or facing the consequences or trying to fix it, I'm gonna blame this fictional character in my head. So in short, at best, that makes you sound fickle, and at worst, that makes you sound crazy. Your muse doesn't control you. If you don't feel like writing, tell your partner you don't feel like writing. Don't blame your muse for that. Your muse is fictional. So if you aren't putting words down to make your muse exist, they don't exist. It's you that doesn't want to write in these situations. And so long as you're blaming your muse, you're creating a situation that you can't fix. You're not gonna find inspiration again if you think the problem isn't yourself. And I know because you're here watching this video that you want to find inspiration again. So if this sounds like you, instead of saying, I lost muse, try saying, I lost inspiration, because this is gonna put the ownership on yourself and encourage you to figure out how to find that inspiration again. So what other tricks do you guys use to find inspiration? Do you use any of the ones that I talked about or do you have your own that we didn't discuss? Let me know in the comments down below. And remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notification, all the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.